guys, we're back. Woo! Good one. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to a new coffee. episode, everyone. I was dragged here like a caveman dragging his girlfriend out of a bed by the <laughs> by hair. By the hair. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Are you sleepy? No, just, uh, you know how you sometimes have that amazing nap where your feet and your whole body just feel so warm and cozy. Yeah. You don't oh, ever yeah. want to get up. And then you do when you, you feel great, but you're a little still, you know, yeah. uh, mellow and... Yeah, yeah. No, I'm, ever, I'm, uh, I'm getting there. Don't worry. I got my coffee. You ever hit that good, like, revelation where you go to bed and then as soon as you wake up, you just immediately think, damn, I slept great. Oh, no. Yeah. I love that so Once a much. month. Yeah, yeah, it doesn't happen often, but when it does, it's just like, fuck, man. That was that was well worth it. I'm glad I went to sleep. <laughs> Jackson's pretty <laughs> much given up on sleep. Do you want to talk about that, Jackson? <laughs> sleep is so hard but now. I... I hop into bed and it's like four hours of tossing and turning and then I get maybe like three hours of sleep and then I wake up miserable. What's your sleep environment like? It's a bed. In a, uh, no, in but a... I mean like how, is it dark? Is it, is yeah, it no, quiet? Is I, it... I completely shut off everything. Like there's no light in the room whatsoever, but I just still toss and turn. Is and it's it too warm? No, I've, I've got the fan on. Uh, I can't sleep without a fan on. Well, I can't sleep at all anyway, but I, I like a fan on. <laughs> Is it loud enough uh, to white noise? Yeah, I need the white noise as well. Yeah. I, I, it's like the situation Autism. is perfect. I'm comfortable. I'm just, I can't get my brain to drift off. I'm just always thinking. Always thinking about Jurassic World evolutions, huh? Yeah, maybe, maybe, yeah. maybe once it releases, then I'll finally get some rest. Some something, uh, rest. something else you could try is find some like, light music and just put it on very quietly because that'll kind of give your brain something to like think about and focus on it helps it's, me. I, i've honestly tried a lot of stuff music as well but i think it's getting to the point where i might need to go see a doctor and get oh. some kind of medication or something because it is honestly awful oh, i yeah, cannot definitely get to in sleep 19, 19. Who doesn't need sleeping pills oh <laughs> 21 drink, but yeah do still. you drink caffeine no, I only drink water, really. Oh. Fuck. Do you eat not sleeping food? Well, it's not sleeping food. Oh, <laughs> what, is, what do you mean? Awake ham and an alert chicken? I mean, I've got enough energy throughout the day and stuff, so... Mm. Was it just one know. of those... I don't think my diet's the issue. Is it just one of those things where you just lay there and you're constantly jumping from subject to subject in your head? Yep. Mm -hmm. Yep, without, like, any kind of preconceived notion of why the subject comes up or anything like that you should it take, just happens you should take my advice and just turn on jurassic world and just fall asleep to that pile of shit <laughs> okay have you tried melatonin no i have not tried melatonin you should try that i never had much of a benefit from melatonin it never really helped me if you're listening melatonin you're a big old fucking scam Good what what fixed it me. for you what fixed it for me yeah I'm just sleeping <laughs> I'll fucking say. <laughs> but how did you get there? It just Do you it, ever it, work out? What? <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. Sometimes. Not before bed, though. How much, though? I mean, just throughout the day, do you ever tire yourself out? Uh, yeah, like I stretch and stuff because I, I'm seated most of the time. So okay, I stretching like isn't a workout. <laughs> well, no, you just said, yeah. are you active, basically? Yeah, no, I mean like actual work for like an hour a day, not just stretching your legs while you while I, you're sitting. Well, I don't work out every day, but maybe once every two or three days, yeah. You should try doing sit-ups. I do a lot of sit-ups, yeah. More sit-ups. I'll try more sit-ups. <laughs> Where is this going? <laughs> I don't know. I'm it's just trying to help. It's just a game of momentum, Jackson. Once you fall asleep once, you'll start getting in the habit and you'll just be really banging I, out some I sleep. Still, no, I still fall asleep. I It just takes a while to get there. How long does it take? Like three hours, four hours. Okay, that's far too long. Maybe you're just not ready for bed. But I feel tired. Yeah, you know, feeling tired is normal. You might not be sleepy. You might just be tired. But by that point, I've been awake for like 16 hours. Maybe you're just hotwired. Maybe I'm an android. Who knows? Yeah. I, I'll, I'll, I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do, but I'll figure something out. I feel good now, though. That's good. I, I'm glad I got it off the chest with you boys. Thank you for that. Hopefully the watertight advice that was lent here today will help you in some manner. I don't know how it couldn't. It was perfect. 
Look, let's go ahead and get this out of the way so we can have topics. Let's start with the uh, things we like corner, and we'll go from there. How about that? Mm, okay, yeah, Detroit, Detroit Become Human. That's mine. Damn it. I don't want you guys to spoil it, though, because I'm playing it tonight. I'm not going to I'm not gonna spoil anything for you, but they do become human, and it is very good. <laughs> it, Shit. It is a, it, I'm really enjoying it. If you like story-driven games, then uh, yeah, you'll love this. I it's like really David good. Cage games, though, because there's... Some, oh, then we we'll absolutely always, love this. Yeah, there's always batshit moments in them that just make you question why <laughs> I love him. You'll love Connor's storyline, then. Connor's storyline awesome. is easily the best. Is there any awkward, like, French voice acting lines? Just weird translations? No. No, they're all pretty good. Damn it. Cause this is definitely the rain. best David Cage game, I think. That's, that's not saying anything at all. <laughs> well, yeah, I, mean, but still... I mean, look at the competition. Beyond Two Souls, Heavy Rain, and Omicron. <laughs> Heavy Rain <laughs> was hailed as a really good game. I think it's fine. Not a no, really it good, but it, it was it was okay. It, it was, I, I personally it was, liked it. But. It was touted as a different game. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> it wasn't it the first game of that whole, wow, it's just like a movie genre? Yeah. It mm-hmm. was one of them, yeah. He, he, so David Cage, I don't know if you know much about the man himself. He's batshit insane and very French. And uh, at one point when he was <laughs> making Heavy Rain, he said, game over is already a failure of the game designer. And... Um, he he wanted people to only play Heavy Rain once and then never again for a per- a perfectly <laughs> authentic experience. He's also battling a legal case right now where his employees are saying they were treated poorly and his response was, "I cannot believe this." He sounds like Tommy was so. <laughs> <laughs> I cannot believe this. How Is dare this the they? New fucking thing now just we've been treated poorly by our boss or coworker. And then, like, mm-hmm. 20 years later, they'll make a sad music compilation with Morgan Freeman flirting with his interviewees. Well, Morgan Freeman's was a bit more than that, but yeah, yeah. I get what you're saying. <laughs> well, not a qu- there was no evidence of it. The only evidence they had was that video. Did you guys see that? Where no, they made a no, compilation of his past interviews, and they put all this ominous music. And it's literally just two scenes... Of him trying to kind of, sort of be polite and flirt, flirt with two interviewers. Ooh, going I mean, for both. Literally everyone would do, including women with male interviewers. I haven't seen the clip, so I, I don't have much to say on that. All I know is the claims. Yeah, and he's outright denying it super hard. I think Damn he's guilty. Him. I think he's black. <laughs> it's all that melatonin. Yeah. Wait, which one's the one that makes you sleep? Melatonin. melatonin. Yeah. And it also makes you black. No, that's that was melanin. a joke. That's melanin. <laughs> oh, yeah. Melanin. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Morgan Freeman's been popping melatonin for decades now. <laughs> he he used originally. to be white. Yeah. <laughs> He's got revitiligo. Sounds like a miracle drug. Well, revitiligo is a disease. Andrew, what about you? What do you oh, like this God, week? Oh, God, I hate everything. Um... You just had a really fun day yesterday, man. I have a fun day every day. I really like... I really like Tootsum. There we go. So, uh, what? Tootsum? Tootsum is like this giant two-story industrial factory restaurant that makes candy, but also has food, and the food is fucking phenomenal. It's at Universal Studios. It's also yeah. my favorite restaurant as well. It's it's really, really great. All the food. It's, it's, it's giant. It is... It seats probably... I don't know, 800 people? More? It's it's nuts how just large scale it is, and yet the food is delicious. There, there's never really any issues. The wait is always long. Like, it's 30 minutes minimum to get in, but... do you have, Don't you have to go into the Universal theme park, though, as well? It's, it's, you have free, to go... it's free parking. If, yeah. if it's after 6, it's free parking, and it's not in Universal. It's on Universal City Walk, which is just free admission. Yeah, yeah which is before the park. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but it's right. it's a fantastic restaurant, and it's steampunk themed, so like everyone's got goggles and all this shit, and the mascot is a dude in a giant robot costume. It's cool. That sounds annoying. It it's it's not. It's, it's really very, cool. Yeah. yeah. What do you mean really annoying? Cool. You annoying. one of those guys that goes to Chuck E. Cheese and spits on the mouse or something? <laughs> really? <laughs> How rude. Yeah, you go, to Chuck, Chuck, you go to Chuck. You go to Chuck E. Cheese. Cheese, Jackson. You're the kind of guy who goes to Chuck E. Cheese for the pizza and goes, "I hate all this kid shit." God. What's Chuck E. Cheese? You're the kind of guy that goes to <laughs> Chuck E. Cheese and says, damn, those animatronics suck dick. Yeah, what really. Is Chuck e- uh, 
What is it? Just like a a kids uh, a kid restaurant? Oh but... wait, you have the Australian version. It's Dingery Doodos. <laughs> no, Chuck e. Chuck e. Cheese is a kids restaurant where you get pizza, you watch animatronics fuck around, and you play arcade games. Why would you go to that? Because you're a kid, sounds- that sounds fucking amazing. <laughs> what are you talking about, Jackson? <laughs> Why would you go to that? That sounds like a glorified. Because I was ten. <laughs> like, what are you, what's your you argument? You were just arguing that you wanted to go there now, though. You said what? What? No, you, you said Jackson. You're the kind of guy that goes to Chuck E. Cheese and says he doesn't like the animatronics. Yes, or that's we're making fun it, of you because it's an you're expression saying- because you're saying the robot guy at Toothsome is annoying when he's God, clearly a mascot for children stuff. and he's fun. No. no. You're the, the kind of guy who goes to like... Mickey. Ma- You're the kind of guy who goes to Disney World and is like, "I wish Mickey Mouse wasn't here. He's so goddamn annoying." <laughs> well, he is, to be fair. Well, yeah, but the others you get are the better. Point. You get the point. Yeah, yeah. Who is? Who is? We can take a break from the the like corner. Who is everyone's favorite Disney character? I don't do think I, I have one. Do princesses count? Mm-hmm. Oh, uh, this was one of the first questions we got. On oh my this god, you're right. Know, yeah. yeah, Disney princess. That was a long time ago. Yeah, and I, I think I either picked Moana or Elsa. Oh, damn, they gotta get together for a duo buddy cop movie. <laughs> Moana controlling the waves, and then Elsa just freezes them. They'd be the amazing Avatar team. I think mine's Brave. Oh, that's a Merida or whatever. I don't know her name. Yeah, I just that's, like redheads. That's a really interesting choice. <laughs> you just go to Disney movies going like, yeah, I'd fuck her. <laughs> I mean, if we're including Pixar, that opens up a bunch of choices. <laughs> All right, well, let's open up Pixar. <laughs> yeah, just <laughs> wreck it, Ralph. Out of that universe? <laughs> a lot of it things. Just... Uh, Mrs. Incredible. Uh, probably Eve. <laughs> that robot from <laughs> Wally. <laughs> She's hot as fuck. <laughs> boss She's like baby, a simplistic trash can. Boss baby. No, boss baby's DreamWorks. I think. Yeah, it's DreamWorks. Yeah, no. yeah. You, you almost got it. me with the Shrek argument, but nope. DreamWorks. Shrek argument. <laughs> <laughs> Is he known for fucking babies? I <laughs> well, he's I, have no, I have no idea what the Shrek argument is. Is this yeah. was this used yeah. in the court of law? Well, yeah, yeah. You don't remember Shrek four when that baby goes to Shrek's home and he's like, "What are you doing in my swamp?" And then it cuts to him just <laughs> fucking it ruthlessly. Shrek four. Why would you even watch the first? <laughs> I think it's called Shrek four D. Well, the first Shrek is a very good movie. Uh, it's dated, but it was a good movie. I the don't second know. one was like also all right. Yeah. Shrek 3 and 4 were bad. Come, ba- come back to me on that one. Charlie, it's your turn for what you like. For what I like? Yeah. Yeah, or- this week, what do you like? Yeah. Uh, I bought... Uh, Jackson, you'll know the character. I bought a, a Watto statue, and I like him. <laughs> He's the junk the junk guy from the Phantom Menace Star Wars Episode 1. Don't know it. The Zaboba. You'll, you'll recognize him instantly by look. Yeah, he's like the yeah. flying mucus goblin thing. I can't remember it. Let me let me tell you boys something. I helped him carry it out of uh the place. He Wado is fucking heavy. Yeah, he's was a, it the oh flying? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. The one people always jokingly call the Jew. Yeah, the Zabumba. <laughs> That's a no good here. That guy. Uh What did you like this week, Kaya? Um, quite, quite a bit. I don't know, I guess most recently today morning that made me really just laugh is one of those guys who tried dancing on Total Biscuit's grave, yes. exposed as a pedophile. <laughs> Always gotta appreciate the irony in these assholes getting unmasked as these sex pests who rape women and children apparently and then they go on Twitter telling the rest of us how what sexists we are. This one's for you, Shane Wilson Butler. Is that the yeah, guy? It's so good. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I heard about that, yeah. That's, That's it's cute. always interesting. The expression always rings so true. Not every rapist is a male feminist, but every male feminist is a rapist. <laughs> every time this comes up, I'm going to keep quoting that because it's just such an accurate statement. It's unreal. It keeps happening. It doesn't it keeps, stop. How does it keep happening? How? How? I've yet to see even a single one of these anti-gaming, anti-gamer male feminists turn out to be a decent human being. It's always some sort of a... Predator. To be fair, though, that's because the decent ones never make the headlines or anything. Yeah, because that's the decent true. ones don't go on Twitter yelling at some guy's dead, wa- like, uh, widowed wife and child talking about what an evil man he was. 
It's because the decent mm-hmm. ones go, all right, I'm for women's rights. Oh, wait, they can vote. Wait, wait, they can get a job. Wait, they can. Oh, okay, we're good. No, they go, I didn't agree with this guy, but, you know, rest in peace. I mean, that's that too. it. They have How class. fucking difficult can, they, can that be? They're not psychopaths that go on there and do that kind of ridiculous shit. Yeah. Ugh. So, yeah, that's something I like right there. That's good. This podcast is sponsored by Lisa. <laughs> <laughs> I slept we like so Lisa. well on it. I haven't slept well at all, and that's because I don't have a Lisa mattress. Luckily, the boys here are here to tell me about how Lisa mattresses can solve my sleeping issues. Please, take it away, Andrew. Okay. Convince me. It's time for me to take it away. That's because if you have a Lisa mattress, I'm going to try to take it away from you. Because it is one of the <laughs> most comfortable mattresses I have ever slept on. i got to be real with you, boys. I had a mattress it's in my bedroom. I was sleeping on it. I'm like, okay, that's comfy. Then I got the Lisa mattress. And I went, oh, mm-hmm. wow. Okay. Never, g- game has changed. Mattresses will never be the same. Fantastically comfy. 23,000 mattresses are donated thus far. Because one mattress is donated for every 10 sold by Lisa. That is a mark of quality. That is a mark of production. And that is a mark of of a American business on the up and up. There are 11,000, or more than 11,000 five-star reviews. 300,000 happy sleepers and counting. I am throwing numbers out. Why? Because numbers are easier for your complex, pattern-seeking brain to understand. So let me give you one final number. One last number. You can get $160 off. Wow. Your Lisa mattress. That is at least two copies of Detroit Become Human out now. <laughs> By going to lisa.com slash Charlie. Official. For the deepest discount they've ever offered. That's the deepest I, sleep for the deepest discount, Jackson. I think that is technically their deepest discount they've offered because our last ad reads have said 150 off, so they just keep adding on. Really? We are so good at selling Lisa mattresses, they're going to eventually give them away. Because they know that it's the best mattress. They, they feel like they're committing a war crime by not just giving it to the people because it's such a good mattress. Did we actually Thanks, give the URL lisa.com slash official? Yeah, we did that with okay. me. With L-E-E-S-A. Oh yeah, we have to specify that, I think. Oh yeah. yeah. L-E-E-S-A dot com slash official, yo. All right. I gotta take this moment here to call out a YouTuber in the community, and I think it's <gasps> time. No. Oh, oh, be oh, careful. Yeah. Everyone's gonna care for some reason. Go ahead. Don't attack Charlie. He's innocent. Yeah. No, 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 no. No, I'm going he to didn't attack be on the news. this fucking monster, Mr. Beast. How dare you use your power and fame to give people hundreds of thousands of dollars free charity but then like nine years ago you once called windows gay (gasps) how fucking dare you i read that the atlantic broke the story yeah they did that brave woman what was her name we need to she needs a fucking statue taylor connor's baby let's get that golden idol out there she saved the internet taylor connor if the terminator ever comes for you i'll (laughs) jump in front of any bullet i forgot you're like the mark you're like rosa parks Oh, excuse me. <laughs> Before we keep attacking Taylor Connors, it's Taylor Lorenz. Oh. Ex- excuse me, <laughs> Taylor, Taylor Connors. <laughs> Ex- excuse me, Taylor Connors. <laughs> All right, well, I guess we should give people some background as well. Which, would you like to do it, Charlie? Yeah, so I'm sure a lot of you are familiar with Mr. Beast. He's very well known for giving a lot of money away to streamers and such and, like, friends and it, it's usually just out of generosity, and he makes a viral video out of it. And, well, The Atlantic posted something today from Taylor Lorenz, not Taylor Connors, and it was about how a <laughs> long, long time ago he he said gay it, with, like, a negative connotation, like, talking about something. I think it was Windows. I don't quite remember that. But then they were, like, just saying how he's a horrible, fake human being because he said a hom- he was homophobic. He's just the worst thing on the Internet despite all of his fake charitable givings. It's just... Oh, they Meanwhile, just... these are the types of people celebrating cancers, uh, cancer beating someone. Yeah, I mean, he's he's truly a generous guy. I'm just looking at his videos, and I sorted by most viewed. Uh, his most viewed one is him making fun of children's Minecraft intros. 
And then his second most viewed is him giving thirty thousand dollars to a, an unknown up and coming Twitch streamer, a ninja. So the man is <laughs> truly the beacon of charity that we all know and love. And by that I mean the rest of his videos are him actually giving away a bunch of money. I'm making jokes here, but the man sounds like you don't. It sounds he, like you're jealous, Andrew. Yeah. No, it just did you write that article? Are you Taylor Lorenz? <laughs> oh, look, just because I'm in the pocket of Taylor, and just because I think she's gay. Does not mean that this Ooh. is a good YouTuber. Oh, no, this, this, this guy, is going to come back to bite you nine years from now when you've made oh, it big. Oh, who gives a shit? I'm perusing this guy's channel, though, and he does seem like he does a shitload of giving money away. If it's, he if does, it's real. Yeah. I mean, there, I don't... Okay. I well, keep up great. with it. it, it, it yeah. I keep up with a lot of it. credit cards? He gets sponsors. <laughs> yeah, like, his biggest one is Quid, and they just give him, like hundreds of thousands to give away as a promotional event as well but it it's money he's giving away to people like why doesn't he pizza just buy guys. a poster then mr beast yeah that could be your next viral video i bought a cum covered poster for fifty thousand yeah. dollars to prove i'm not gay or whatever the <laughs> article was. take that <laughs> i like that also mrs lawrence does no longer have the article up on her twitter so uh, i can't find I mean, a goddamn link you guys are uh, all just insensitive fucking idiots, though. You have to remember that context never matters, and that words have power. Okay? That's why... You know what? Fuck it. I'll do it. Some people are gay. There. Said it. That's it. I'm, I'm waiting for the libel to come in. Does I'm Chance for the, the Rapper insults. think they should vote Democrats, though? Oh, God. <laughs> uh, it, what, is, what is it, Andrew? Uh, who knows, man? Who cares? He said it. He's a horrible person. Remember, context never matters. The fact that you say anything at all is bad. Okay, and that concludes the podcast. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm just looking for the fucking article. Did she just it, backtrack? No, The Atlantic still has it up. Ethan posted a link to the article, but Taylor Lorenz is embarrassed of it, so she took it down. It wasn't oh. her the finest work. Uh. Yeah, she, she wasn't too proud of this one. No, she was definitely not apologetic that she's... Yeah, because I'm trying to like find out, so... I know if I should mock her or not. She if she's sorry not about been, it, then that's fine. She might no, not she, have been apologetic, but I guarantee you she took it down because she didn't want to get harassment or whatever. Yeah, it's going to be this yeah, whole thing about death threats, sexism, or yeah. whatever, because a female wrote an article. It's just going to be one of those type of deals. But she took it off her Twitter. The article is still up, though. I'm uh, going through the article right now. <laughs> the article that they can't see on an audio podcast. Yeah, no, no, no. I know. I'm done going through it. But yeah. Kai is right. One of the things he said is Windows is gay. <laughs> <laughs> Look, can we can we get to the more important Yikes. article here? How Kotaku is now complaining that there were no women in the opening scene to Saving Private Ryan. Finally, the hard hitting <laughs> issues. They? <laughs> are they? <laughs> I'm trying to verify. <laughs> what? Why are they tackling something that's like 20 years ago? <laughs> because Battlefield Five came out. We had sexism oh. up to 20 years ago. God, you might oh. not believe this, but sexism was popular back then. Jeez. Oh yeah, on the battlefield especially. Mm -hmm. Turns out people had this weird rule where there shouldn't be any kids and women getting gunned down <laughs> on the beaches more... of the Normandy. We need more kids in the army. Can we have equality finally, please? Uh, I want a nine-year-old filing my taxes as well if possible. Taking bullets <laughs> for me. <laughs> we should just send all kids over in our army because then the then the opponents will uh, feel too bad sending down <laughs> yeah. kids. Is this oh, the yeah. best they have to offer? Are these their champions? <laughs> God damn it! I've I've been duped by a fake screenshot. Uh, take. Well, we're wait, sorry. So to, let's just take yeah. all that out. I'm well, we're sorry, Sarah Connor. We, no, 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 no. He's talking about the Kotaku one. We didn't mean yeah. to slander Kotaku's spec-free spec yeah. reputation. I, I, <laughs> I was totally duped, though, because that is exactly something they would say. <laughs> it's a testament 100%. to their integrity that you can't really? even tell if it's real. I mean, is it is it the mark of good satire or the mark of a shitty journalism? Let's... let's... <gasps> you be the judge. Don't Jeez. say that. Oh Yikes. God, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Let me fix it. Uh, Kotaku is gay. Oh fuck! I just keep doing it. Oh. <clears throat> Does Kotaku still publish articles? Last I checked, they were like begging for money, like not too long ago. <laughs> well, weren't they owned by the same company that owned Gawker or something? Mm -hmm. And I that's think why they all, got fucked real hard. Yeah, they're all under the same blanket. <laughs> yeah, they are. Same with Life Hacker, Gizmodo, Jezebel. I don't know Ooh, those three, but, but I know Kotaku not too long ago was begging their readers to start paying for their articles. Huh. God. What Wait, so do? you gotta pay per article? No, or just like, kind of like the Wikipedia way, except with Kotaku. That's not 
that's not too bad, I guess. No, it's not like, it wasn't like intrusive. I know you can't read anything with ad block on anymore, but I also know they were begging for money. You can't read anything with ad block on. No, if you go to Kotaku and try to read one of their articles now and you have ad block on, it tells you to turn it off. I'm on Kotaku right now. Yeah, me too. Yeah. Well, why did Never... this happen to me earlier then? I don't you're know. You're just man. incompetent. Because you're dumb. Oh, it's because my ad block has crashed. <laughs> oh, Jesus, dude. You've got to take care of your ad block like a child. I know. I didn't know it crashed. It's, it's precious, man. When did this happen? How long have I been vulnerable? <laughs> Quick. <laughs> Fix it. How do I turn? How do I? How do I CPR it back into working order? <laughs> Everyone should get AdBlock. God, yeah, for real. How do? Get an, where the fuck is? Get wow. sponsored by AdBlock. Give us some ads, AdBlock. There we go. I'm, I'm don't, back. Worry, Char- don't worry, Charlie. Don't worry, Charlie. On the uh, on the upside, I'm reading their article on the best games for Xbox One, and uh, so far, three of them are exclusive. One of which, actually, no. If you count PC, uh, one of them is exclusive. Which one's that? Gears of War 4. Yeah. Which actually, I think that's on PC. Never mind. Is it? I mean, there's really yeah, just... There's, yeah, not, okay, there's never not mind. much you can say about the Xbox yeah. One that hasn't been said about a dump truck uh, before. What's the best game for Xbox One? Oh, Overwatch. Great. <laughs> like, uh, I, I, uh, let's, let's talk about this a little bit. Why would... It has on no God's, Yeah, why on God's green earth would any human out there ever, when given the choice of the next-gen console, pick the Xbox One? I don't get yeah, it. I, I don't get it either. Sony has just been killing it with the exclusives. And, and, and Switch. Uh, a, any of their competitors are better. There is not a single reason to get the Xbox I'd, One. I'd honestly vouch for the Oya over the Xbox One. <laughs> yeah, because you love phone <laughs> games. I mean, at least there's games there that I can't get everywhere else. It, Xbox yeah. One is just like, uh, all right, we'll go ahead and put it on the Xbox One too as well, I guess. But it's, it's not it's like we more care so, about it. It's more so like they're they're making the game and uh, they're like, oh, it's coming out for PlayStation and PC. And then the Microsoft CEO is like, uh, mm, mm, and they're like, oh, an Xbox One. Right. <laughs> and they're fucking nudging him, please, please, yeah. please. <laughs> fucking Battlefield 5, the trailer three different times had to have, it's best on Xbox One. Because you can tell Microsoft was just hammering money into them to be like, please, let them buy it for our console, please. But it's it's so weird. They did technically build the best console. It's God. got like the best specs and everything. I just don't understand why they didn't invest in fucking exclusives. Because it I really- sucks. Fucking garbage. <laughs> well, <it's, laughs> well, their UI is the word. Their yeah. UI is beyond bad. Like, there's not enough words to adequately express how bad their UI is. But the problem is, they didn't care about games. They wanted the Xbox One to be like everyone's hub. Basically, originally, no, that, even originally, still. yeah, back in no, 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 back in 2012, they did. But then they said, oh, okay, games are important to us. Yeah, too but late. Then they didn't follow through. They then didn't too follow late. through anyway. It's too late for that. The other companies came out the gate going, hey, you know what's important? Games. Let's make games. You know, people they're like still, games. They're still, to this day, trying to fix Halo the Master Chief Collection. <laughs> oh, yeah, God. I, I it keep, came out fucking four or five years ago, and it's still broken. That's just damage. embarrassing by this I point. keep reading about that, yeah. They fucking... Ki- they've killed their biggest franchise. I, I just don't understand how inept they are with video games at the moment. It's crazy. I, I don't know what to tell you. I mean, I just don't think they care about video games. I feel like they just want like that platform yeah. that's still all encompassing that no one's ever going to buy I mean, an Xbox for. They, it's just a series of baffling, ter- bafflingly terrible decisions. They they get exclusive rights to PUBG on the console market, and this was back when PUBG was still a big deal, and it doesn't even work. If if you watch PUBG footage on the Xbox One, not the Xbox One X or S or whatever the upgraded ones are, it literally does not run. It has oh, no. frame drops, crashes, X, and yeah, even, even on, on the, the X, Xbox buildings X, pop in runs like incorrectly. Yeah, twenty frames per second. It's How awesome. do you fuck that up? The mobile version runs so much better than the Xbox version. It's unreal. Mm-hmm. Exactly. How do you fuck that up? You get the exclusive console rights to one of the biggest games at the time, and you completely fuck it up. I don't get it. What? Well, I think that says more about uh, PUBG than Xbox. I agree. Yeah, but even then, you can run it on the, you can put it on the lowest settings on the console and have it run. I can't believe that if you put <laughs> PUBG on all low, it still wouldn't run. They made it run on the phones. Yeah, it, it yeah, runs and it runs on, on phones. phones. I mean, come on. Because they gave it time, probably, and it's yeah. a lot different on the phone, and because, they had a different because, because it wasn't made by it. Xbox. <laughs> <laughs> the game wasn't, uh, had, Xbox didn't make the game anyway. Xbox isn't like a developer. He's not like one no, guy. He's just really inept. <laughs> I'm making the joke that the common link between all these failures is the Xbox. 
which it is. I mean, it is Microsoft's fault that the Xbox is a joke, but yeah. I, it's it's not like the games being bad is their fault. I know, but it's just that they don't have exclusives. No, That's it's Bill Gates' issue. fault. It's all his fault. I mean, there's just no reason why you'd ever play on the Xbox over other consoles or on the PC. Well, no. I I really support their decision of making their exclusives like uh, available on PC, though. I think that's yeah. Really... I I agree with that a hundred percent. But that also kills them too. Yeah. I don't know why. They do that. That. I wonder if okay. that has something to do with it. Like, hey, this is an Xbox exclusive, but can we also make it run on that shitty Xbox app we have on Windows that everybody hates <laughs> oh, when it runs? Oh God, yeah. I know you have to put on a layer of some sort of a you know porting code but you know if you could make that and then have the xbox app auto launch and uh, yeah. do that dvr shit that people struggle to find out how to turn off yeah because it literally lags your fucking games like it's so fucking baffling and even then which exclusives do people care about i distinctly <laughs> remember fucking dead rising 4 they announced it they were like it's only on xbox one and windows 10 and I was like, okay, I love Dead Rising. Let me let me upgrade to Windows 10, maybe. I'll think about it. And then Dead Rising 4 <laughs> comes out, and oh, God, what are you doing? Awful reviews. Yeah. Terrible fucking game. I guess it is also the games, though, that is the games that they invest in killing them because Halo 5 <laughs> was, was a big, awful. big stinky, big stinker. Gears of War has been dead for like the last eight years. Yeah, and yeah. most people who played Gears of War really hardcore were like, yeah, it's fine. It's the same thing. It's, you know, whatever. I mean, it's not the same thing. It keeps getting worse and worse. What else did they have? Halo Wars 2. I didn't get in enough into that to really get a, a feel it, it for was it. A, it was a fine game, Halo Wars 2. It wasn't anything special, but it was I it mean, was adequate. They The only, like, quote-unquote exclusive I can think of is Cuphead, because they actually backed it and all that shit, and then it's on PC, so who cares? And the game doesn't have I support strong that decision. requirement. Yeah, and the game doesn't require a good computer at all. You could pull out a 2009 Dell Mac lap book and <laughs> fuck with it, but so that's gone. Like, what what actual reason, hands down, is there to buy an Xbox One over a PC or a PlayStation or Switch? I don't see. It's it. a cool. It's a cool coaster. <laughs> <laughs> it's a really expensive drink holder. I guess if you care about <laughs> graphics, doesn't the Xbox One X look better than the PlayStation? But it, I mean, but if you care about four Pro, is still pretty like yeah, they're, they're both pretty much the same. And if you care about graphics, build build a computer for the same amount of money that runs stuff even better. Oh well, yeah, computer's always going to be better. Yeah. But um, I mean, the Xbox One X is really good. It's really powerful, but. There's just no games for it, so yeah. <laughs> the, the, the whole remember at last E3 when they announced the Xbox One X as the most powerful console ever designed and ever made, and how brave they are for doing it. And then they demonstrated it with all these fucking indie pixel games, basically that showed no. <laughs> yeah. no don't you power fucking talk anything. shit about last night? No, I I love them. They're just not. They don't all demonstrate right. the power of the console. Yeah, really. Yeah, you know what I mean? True. Cuphead on the Switch would be good. Mm-hmm. Anything on the Switch would be good. Yeah. It fucking needs more titles. Mm, yeah, I feel the same way with the Switch as the Xbox, really. I, the only titles that I've been remotely interested in on that, but, and they've been fucking amazing games, uh, Mario and Zelda. Every, oh. Everything else has just kind of been, a, I don't know, not really interesting to me. But those two, those two games have uh, made the Switch worth it. So, whatever. Isn't the Switch completely backwards compatible so you can play the other Wii games? No. Okay, well, fuck that then. Not at all. Nintendo's Nintendo's pretty much the most anti-consumer company. Yeah, I guess. This podcast is sponsored by Hims. What's Hims, Andrew? Hims, a new wellness brand for men. Sixty-six percent of men lose their hair by age thirty-five. The thing is, once you notice it, that's it. It's like once your hair's going, it's gone. That's it. bye bye hair. You, you want hair, though. Everyone wants hair. You ever look at some bald guy and say, yeah, he's fucking hot? Occasionally. Because they shave their head. But them who lose them heads? No bald spots? You know, like that old man? 40-year-old <laughs> boss working at Subway? No. He ain't sexy. What do you do to fix that, huh? You go to 4 It's a one-stop shop for hair loss, skin care, sexual wellness, and it's for men. <laughs> That's right. It's all for men. Thanks to science, you can get your hair back. 
I'm dead fucking serious. No scams. Yeah. So f- uh, you can order now. My listeners get a trial month of Hymns for just five dollars today, right now, while supplies last. See website for full details. This would cost hundreds if you went to the doctor or a pharmacy. Go to forhymns.com slash official. That's f o r h i m s dot com slash official. Forhymns.com slash official to get your hair back. Thanks. Great. Hymns. Anthony Fantano <laughs> endorses this. What's another interesting topic going on right now? <sighs> Nothing. There was something pretty recently. Uh, there's the, the the caravan live stream shit. Ugh. The what? Ice Poseidon's doing a live stream where he travels oh, across yeah, the country. Oh, I already country. don't care. Okay. He's still, people still care about Ice Poseidon? He's like but the yeah. biggest streamer in the, in the game right now. I thought he died off because of having to switch <laughs> to YouTube. No, he's only been growing on YouTube. Uh, wow, what a what, wow! This is uh, pretty telling. When you search YouTube for Ice Poseidon, the top three recommended search terms are death, RV, <laughs> and swatted. Yeah, that's pretty much all he does. Yeah, just kills himself by a SWAT team. <laughs> oh, he's on right now. Yeah, it's a twenty four seven stream. Oh, uh, yeah. They're live streaming the entire trip, and it's. In the first day alone, there's just been so much shit that's happened. It's wow. crazy. They left. They they brought along escorts with them, basically like strippers or whatever. I don't know escorts. And then today, earlier today, they they straight up abandoned one of them in the Arizona desert. Sweet. <laughs> they just kicked her out of the RV and drove off. Basically, nice. It's fucking crazy. Kaya, have you been on any dates recently? I don't talk about that sort of shit publicly now. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> Kaya All bangs right. a random new slut every night. I wasn't trying to like kick down your door as the FBI screaming or anything to get the info out. <laughs> really? No, I just decided it's not a good idea for me to talk about any like personal, you know, family or dating life <laughs> shit. But uh, I, I understand in the current internet climate. Yeah, that's a good point. Yeah. No, I mean, I don't date. I just have a girl, but. I'll leave mm-hmm. it at that. You're not getting her photo name or address or any of it. Fuck all of you people on the internet. <laughs> it sounds like <laughs> hell. That sounds like a challenge. Can we get Kaya's <laughs> girl's name, address, phone number, photo? 4chan, where are you? Yeah, they'll, they'll, <laughs> they'll, they'll find start, it in minutes. They'll start looking at German constellations and relaying it back to Kaya's <laughs> yeah, name. <laughs> so not only will they do that and find Kaya's info in minutes, Reddit will do the same thing, and they'll be like, I think Kaya's the Chancellor of Germany <laughs> and has been the head of their national food advocacy groups for the last 12 years. Call it in, boys. We did it, Reddit. <laughs> Good work, Reddit. Here's Reddit Silver. Up yeah. boats. Uh, up dudes to you. Spat my coffee at that one. <laughs> <laughs> That's probably my favorite trend God. you've started. It's it's yeah, fucking true it. though. Every single time I go to Reddit, the, if it's a popular thing, the sec- the first reply to the top comment is, "Ah, oh, have my own vote. Well played. You deserve this. You got <laughs> me on that just one." Such an immense shithole. It is. I don't even read the comments anymore. I've actually got something for you, Kai. I think you owe everyone an apology in misjudging Elon Musk with what he's doing these days. The fucking Lord's work well, with he just attacking media. I didn't misjudge him on the shifty shit he's doing. He, in addition to that shifty shit, is now doing some fun stuff. Yeah, I'm all the Mm -hmm. way with them. For those who might not know, Elon Musk is... He teased a service. I don't even know if he's serious about it, but he wants to make a website called Pravda, where you can go to rate journalists. And, you know, whenever somebody decides to make a website where you can rate stuff, like if you get to rate your Uber driver, yeah, brilliant idea, right? I don't want to get into some creep's taxi and get raped. Yeah, Yelp, sure, you know, you don't want to go, you know, go on a date and accidentally end up in some terrible restaurant that's worth Mm -hmm. one star, so that's good a rating. But, oh boy, how dare you, wanting to rate journalists, don't you know they're the backbone of society, they're the paragons, the saviors of all our souls, these douchebags sitting on a cloud of their own farts up in the heavens, just looking down on us, spitting down on us like Justin Bieber onto his fans. And they think we're just sitting there down. I hate them so fucking much. The replies this man got for the audacity of just saying, hey, maybe we should hold journalists uh, you know, responsible for the shit they write. The bile, the anger. 
And he called it immediately. Like, one of them was like, this sounds like something Elon Musk, a known far-right advocate, would say. He's a Nazi Trump supporter. And Elon even said, he, like, that was going to happen. And that's because it's so mm-hmm. by the well, numbers. You can set, happen. Yeah, you can set your watch by it. If you disagree with the media, you're a far-right Nazi. Yeah. It's incredible just how highly these assholes think of themselves. I mean, we're at the same so... time that with with one of these platforms where you can rate journalists and whatever, wouldn't there be a shit ton of brigading done on either side? It doesn't seem like a very reliable uh, way of telling which journalist is actually like actually. It's not that nobody claims good. it's going to be flawless, including Elon. He doesn't say it's gonna have you know not have problems, and he says he wants to figure out how to fix those problems and somehow get media to be more reliable. It's more so the just utter revolting hatred he got the psychotic hatred he got just for even suggesting uh, suggesting the idea that maybe journalism should be held to a standard and that you shouldn't just believe everything you read and then some asshole came up to him and said like hey elon maybe you should like you know invite people from uh what are they politifact and snopes yeah let's just let the fox into the hen house why don't we? Let's let Nambla run the FBI investigation against pedophiles too while we're at it. Yeah, that's brilliant. Fucking genius. But I'll say this though, here's why Elon is stupid. For somebody who supposedly knows the media, and somebody who supposedly, you know, he should know that taking things out of context and lying about them is 90% of what journalists do. It's like their bread and butter. He just, he loves putting his own foot in his mouth. Here's the tweet yesterday where everybody knew, okay, this was going to blow up and this was going to be the thing. He's a Nazi now. He said, this is his tweet. Who do you think owns the press? Hello. And of course, uh, how many replies does this have? 1.6k. 1.5 of those are alt-riders going, it's the Jews. Wait, what? It's a classic meme. Don't you know the Jews own the media meme? I haven't heard yeah, that. Yeah, I, I know that. I didn't know that's what he meant by that, though. He didn't. But you can't use that sentence. You can't say who owns the media like that without explicitly stating it, because now you have like fifty blue check marks up in the up in the comments. They're going, "Oh, tell us, Elon, who owns the media? Hmm, you fucking Nazi." So there's gonna be plenty more articles calling him the Hitler, the two hundredth Hitler to return. You've got your work cut out for you on my audio, Jackson, because it's raining really hard. It's not getting picked up on Discord, but it is an audacity. I can see it. Denoiser, that's it. Done. Denoiser? Yes, Denoiser. It's in Adobe. It's is that instantaneous. Like a, is that like a it. kid's next door gadget? It's an audio filter you pop on and it literally just gets rid of it. I've used it on my last three videos. You mean noise removal? Same thing. It's called a de- <laughs> It used to be called a denoiser, and then they updated it. <laughs> denoiser, huh? That's that's a pretty cool title, I guess, for like a Lego set. But I am excited to see if Elon Musk follows through on the the journalistic integrity rating or whatever he's trying to call it. I know it's like Pravda, but he gave it like a title. <laughs> he gave it a Russian name or something. Pra- Pravda means what? Truth in truth in Russian, right, Kyle? Yeah, and then they took that out of context too and couldn't understand it. Pravda was a propaganda rag. Joke being, yeah. hey, you journalists, you're just like propagandists. That was the joke, but of course I didn't get that either. God, I hate these assholes. He's helping so the much. Russians. That, <laughs> I'm Look, sure that'll be an article. You don't have to have journalistic integrity to dress well, though. That's completely true. Because instead, you can just wear a movement watch, and that will instantly buff up your street cred. And fantastic style, and literally just slap it on and wear it out. That's it. Boom. Easiest thing in the world. Movement watches. You ever worn a movement watch? Raise your all four of us. Raise your hand if you've worn a movement watch. I can see all four of us raising our hands, and I can see on those hands movement watches. Good shit. Mm-hmm. Because they start at just ninety five dollars. If you bought this in the store, you would pay four. See, you, you got excited. You were like, wow, only $4 a sheep. Now, 400 to $500. Classic designs, quality construction, minimalist styles. Movement has figured out that by selling online, you can cut off the middleman, get some cheap, high-quality, amazing watches. They look good. 
They feel good. I'll bet you they even smell good. I'm not going to smell mine right now. That'd be weird. But give it a whiff. Let me know. Take it away, Charlie. That's mvmt.com slash official. What do you get? Yeah, what do you get? You get 15% <laughs> off today with free shipping and free returns by going to mvmt.com slash official. So go see why MVMT keeps growing. Check out their expanding collection by going to mvmt.com slash official. Join the movement today. Let's do our MVMT, but this time let's do it with... with Boring episodes. With... Uh, Let's do it with, uh, let's do video games. Why not? Um, Metal Gear Solid. I'm gonna, uh, I'll go with Victory Royale, comma, Fortnite. Charlie? Mother, mother. <laughs> what video game is that? Yeah, fuck you. No, Mother's a game. Is it? Yeah. What? Well, hopefully. I don't know. It seems like such a generic name. It's gotta exist as a game somewhere. Oh, God. He, no, you're completely right. That's the original name for Earthbound. Knew it. Yeah. Fuck, mm. okay. Well, shit. No, um, Terraria. Good, perfect. It's a good mvmt.com slash official join the movement. Let's move on to shoutouts, because we got to start the hangout soon. You mean in 45 minutes? It takes shoutouts half an hour. I still have to eat. I'm about to die. I want to talk about Stanley first. Did you guys know he was a Nazi? Of course. He's on Twitter, therefore he's a Nazi. That's how the world works. Who's Stanley? <laughs> what? <laughs> he's... He- <laughs> He invented superheroes, basically. Stan Lee, not ah. Stan Lee. Stan Lee, yeah. Yeah, right. Yeah, so he's on yeah. Twitter and has opinions, therefore he is a Nazi. That's that's it. Boom, done, check mark. If everything he tweets is true, like the lore of Stan Lee being accurate, he recently just wrestled his own Twitter account away from his managers to personally post on it. I don't know if I believe that, but one of the like what one of the his first tweets now is agreeing with Elon Musk, so now he's the Nazi. Yeah. Do you think Disney is just sweating bullets? <laughs> yeah, no. They're just shitting themselves. Yeah, it's, Jesus, Stanley, don't. No, don't like that <clears throat> porn video. Not publicly, Stan. Jesus. <laughs> yeah. This man could absolutely fucking kill superheroes. <laughs> what if he What if he starts doing the old people thing where he thinks it's Google, so he starts tweeting out, like, erection pills? What happened? What's this lump on my thigh? Why haven't As my if kids he's doing called? That on his own. He got some hand delivered. I, I do feel like it's it was just a joke about him just taking control of his Twitter, but I like how within days of him tweeting that, he tweeted out Tom Holland saying, you're a great Spider-Man, Spidey, Spider-Man, Spidey. Oh, <laughs> uh, no. And well, it, the tweet was, uh, yeah. Tom Holland is exactly what I pictured for Spider-Man. He's not too big, and he fits the role perfectly. And then he ended it with, how's my Spidey doing? Or something yeah. like that. How's my friend? He's yeah, like, how's, how's my friend How's doing? my friend Tom doing? Like, oh. <laughs> yeah, <it's> so cute. <laughs> and then he yeah, goes from that, that to sweet. agreeing with Elon. He's like, I agree with Elon. I don't like bad news. When's it, when's it just going to catastrophically plummet? Like he tweets out like, I'm so excited to see my Avengers fighting the rights and doing good all out the land. And then the next tweet is like, I hate black people. Just just the pure nosedive of an old I d- man. I do like the idea that he is now in control of his Twitter's. <laughs> I just like that image of Stanley sitting around on set. He's like, I've got to say something clever on Twitter. <laughs> Elon, uh, good work. <laughs> I mean, his, his tweets did, are adorable, though. He just tweeted at J.K. Rowling asking for a uh, Harry Potter and Doctor Strange and X-Men crossover. His tweets are adorable. Pretty One of them cool. was, uh, it was just Donald Trump is president of the United States. I want to be president of the world. Who would vote for me? <laughs> <laughs> They're so cute. They are cute. It's like yeah. such an innocent old man. Uh, <laughs> the top, the top uh, reply to that president of the world thing is just pictures of Thanos naked. <laughs> <laughs> His big purple cock in the wind. <laughs> I, I hope Stanley likes that. it and retweets by accident. <laughs> this is exactly what I pictured for Thanos. Oh. How's my boy Thanos doing? <laughs> There's not even text on it. It's just that I was thinking. <laughs> Wait, so you say it too. That's it. Yeah, everyone. oh, I'm staring right at his purple ass. That's. 
<laughs> I hope every single tweet he puts out just has these. <laughs> That's the top comment. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> really got a hoot out of him. Because uh, I just imagine this kindly old man going to his local grocery store and he's like, oh, what I need, I'm going to need some help getting this milk, please. And then, like, the first thing he sees in line is porn mags. Just, oh. Uh, it's so just completely <laughs> unrelated and funny. I think he likes that kind of thing. Like he, I think he has a good sense of humor about it. Like, oh, ha, ha, that's Thanos's cock. <laughs> what? what, what well, I'm sure he's drawing. What if he's sitting in his den? He's got his little fuzzy slippers on, and he, he's like, oh, that cute's adorable. And he scrolls down and just gets really upset. <laughs> what is this? <laughs> Big purple cock. By the way, that actually reminds me, Charlie, your theory that Marvel actors can't play multiple characters in the cinematic universe is wrong. What do you mean? When did I say that? Josh, Does, is Deadpool you, included? Jo- uh, if, I mean, if it is, Josh Brolin is both Cable and Thanos. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. You said a while back that I think they can't play multiple characters in one episode. I don't remember which one. I don't recall saying that because, yeah, Josh Brolin's been in two yeah, in the same just, month. Okay, well, if you didn't say that or didn't bring that up as a point, then here is something I noticed there. Okay, that's fair. Kaya yeah. has uh, been claimed. Yeah. <laughs> I can't, I, now I can't stop staring at Thanos' purple butt cheeks. After, after really stands, goddamn funny. <laughs> after Stan's Elon Musk tweet, I'm just going through the comments on that. It's a shit show. Everyone's blocking and hating him now. How many people have Holy posted shit. naked Thanos to it? <laughs> None, but it's just, it's a funny contrast over like his last tweet, which was about, you know, the Tom Holland thing and everyone's replying going, oh, you're so sweet. Oh, I'm so happy Stan's on Twitter now. Oh, here's some pictures of Thanos's cock, blah, 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 you know, all that shit. And then as soon as he mentions Elon Musk, it's just Jesus Christ. Yeah. It's time for shout outs. Yay. Our favorite part. I, I love shout outs. Genuinely. All right. Uh, this, this is the shout out portion where people from Patreon send through lovely little messages and we read them and this turns into a reaction channel where we react to the messages. Let's go ahead. This one's from Hayden Malone who says, uh, so I made that rum with Red Bull drink that you posted on your Snapchat story and it was pretty gross. Do you actually enjoy this or is this just a big elaborate Aussie shit post? So this was just rum mixed with Red Bull, pretty standard, and it, it tasted standard. nice. Yeah, it's standard. Yeah. So uh, I guess Hayden Malone didn't like it though, and that's completely fair. But I, I, I don't mind it; it's good. <laughs> Thank you for defending yourself, Jackson. Yeah. This one's from Lauren Meadle. You guys are still awesome. Kaya did pronounce my name correctly. It's German. Did you? And I'm sure I nailed it. And I really appreciate how you make me laugh even on my worst days. I'm trying to recover from binge eating disorder and would really love it if I could get some support from my boys. Oh, Godspeed, you Lauren. You our support. Good stay Good strong. Yeah. You can do it, Lauren. We believe in you. We love you, Videl. This one's from Fanon in Time. I'd like to shout out my best friend who helped me through so much these last few months and helped me learn to forgive myself and others. Trina... Jesus Christ. Trina Zafronsky. I'll try and get her to listen to this episode, boys. Love you. Love all of you guys and loved hearing Count Dankula. Have a spectacular month. Thank you, Phantom. Love Dankula too. And Trina. All right. This is from James Douglas for me to read. Hey, guys. Thanks for another month of climax inducing contact, uh, content. This month, I was wondering if you guys could come up with some made up reasons why Malcolm. Some bitch who won't leave me alone on Xbox <laughs> deserve to be banned permanently. Thanks again for putting out amazing content. See you guys next month. Get rid of your Xbox. Yeah, Malcolm. Yeah, he's was, playing an Xbox. Yeah, so that's the problem. Mm-hmm. The if, Xbox is the issue, not Malcolm himself. If, if he makes the right decision of getting rid of it, he'll be banned retroactively. So, there you go. Yeah, it's a simple solution. This one's from Connor DeHuey. Keep talking shit and you're going to catch these McGriddles. Also, I don't know to play. Oh, I see. Oh, uh, it's like the, it's like the meme. Oh, the, the he is it's not aware of the path. Ha <laughs> ha! He's from that African place. I get it. This Wakanda. one's Anthony for dead babe. This this is from Anthony Fernelius. I just want to shout out Chase Didas for showing me my first critical video back in 2011. 2011. 2011 changing level. My, Changing my life forever. Much love. You look buff, pal. 
It was Pokemon Stadium. Are Come you on. the YouTuber? Thanks, Anthony Wait. and Chase. It's very Wait, cute. We have critical here. Are you the YouTuber? All right, this one's from Kenneth Coleman, who says, Hey, I really appreciate you guys. This podcast has made working long shifts way more enjoyable. Here's an anti-joke as my personal present to you guys. An atheist, a vegan, and a cross-trainer walk into a bar. I know this because they told everyone who they were within five minutes. Nice. I've heard, yeah, I've heard that one. Ba-doom. Yeah, that's, that's a good one. Yeah. Thanks, Kenneth. Thanks for the funny. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for uh, making us laugh. We yeah. edited it out, but... I updated it. <laughs> this is it's from Kevin one. Maldonado. He says, Hey boys, if you were to have someone create you a personalized flag slash logo, what kind of symbolisms or references would you have to best describe you? <laughs> I like animals. <laughs> Thanos', is, Thanos is purple cock. <laughs> Thanos' is purple veiny <laughs> cock and butt cheeks. <laughs> With Stanley's surprised face I, in the I background. Have a picture of Thanos butt fucking Thanos. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, I I don't know. A I dinosaur, no a dinosaur wearing a stormtrooper helmet. Probably something having to do with bees, even though it's not directly applicable. I have no idea. Why do you not know yourself very well, Charlie? Yeah, I don't know what I'd put on a flag. This is your country. This really? is what represents you and your people. What do you put on there? Go. I'd probably put like a few lines of differing colors. So a gay pride flag? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I guess. Yeah. Kaya, what about you? Mm, I said animals. Just, huh. I love animals. That's a, it's a hard, that's fair answer. Just a hard, I'd make it just an edgy boy flag, just red and black with a cool design. Intimidate everybody. All right. The, I have the next three. Jesus. Okay. Uh, this is from Red. Is it progression if a cannibal uses a fork? Do you know what that's from, Andrew? No. Not it's at a, all. It's a Chiodo song. Oh. Oh. I recognize it. No wonder it's shit. <laughs> Yikes. If you're listening, Chiodos, your music is bad. They broke up many years ago. Oh, thank God. The world got a little brighter today. Uh, Thank you, Red. This is from Scott. Memorial Day is coming up, probably past when this airs. Honor the fallen. They fought for the idea, not the politics. It's a tough time for vets. You are not alone. Let's throw some love their way. That was wholesome. This one's for that you. That was very wholesome. That was wholesome. Pour one out for the very homies. Nice. That was a very nice, very nice one. Thank you, Scott. Mm. And this is from Hoobless, who is literally repeating his shout out for, I believe, the third month in a row. <laughs> Don't be stupid, be a smarty, come and join the Nazi party. One of my favorite jokes from the producers, starring Matthew Broderick and Nathan Lane. Did you update it? I, I love the producers. I think it's an amazing show. I meant the joke. Oh. Eh, I'm kind of indifferent. <laughs> this is from Andrew O'Keefe. Oh, whoops. Uh, <laughs> he hey rang lads. your doorbell. <laughs> <laughs> it's your boy Andrew back at it again. Just wanted to know if any of you ha are Lord of the Rings fans and have you heard about the apparent TV show? I don't know if it's gonna be taken from Tolkien's work or if it's a shadow of Mordor slash war deal. Peace. XXX. I think those are hugs. Yeah, kisses. The kisses, no, yeah. Circles are hugs. Oh. X is a kisses. I am, I am, I'm kind of indifferent to Lord of the Rings. I'm not too into it. I think it's neat, but I think that it definitely is one of the best fantasy arc story mm -hmm. worlds ever created. I'm a pretty big fan Doesn't of it. Sound very indifferent. Yeah, I'm a pretty big fan of it, but I didn't know. It, really? I didn't know shit about a TV show. I didn't either. The TV show is not going to be any good. I can almost guarantee it. I will say, for all the movies and games and what that, the only time I ever really got into it was. Uh, the Shadow of Mordor games. Because mm -hmm. I felt so fucking badass. Yeah, good games. Yeah. This is from Adam. I guess since shoutouts are exclusive now, I should probably use it. Thank you, Adam. That's my favorite fucking shoutout so far. Okay. Back to you, Andrew. This is from Deviant Predator. Hey, buttheads. Just wanted to ask <gasps> if you have a holy shit, I almost got caught moment. For example... My friend and his girlfriend were getting it on when the girl's mum walked in as he was about to blow his load. She got off him. She got off him in time, but he ended up soaking his kids in her blanket. 
Why were the kids there? <laughs> and proceeded to make conversation with her mom while his kids dripped everywhere. That's, that's a really foul thing to call semen. Yeah, it's, it's uh, a yucky thing. Yeah, uh, Jackson order, wait, or Jack order, wink, wink, love you guys. All right, Jack order. Uh, fuck. It has to be sexual, I guess. Um, well, there's only so many ways you can tell a story of someone walking in on you. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, there's been plenty of times when you're like 16, well, when I was 16 or so, getting getting intimate and like my mum would walk in and you just kind of play it off. Mm-hmm. You say, I'm, I'm fucking here, get out. <laughs> I'm fucking here. I mean, I've, I've told this on the podcast. I had the family room computer where every time I heard my parents' door <laughs> open, I would just pull it away real quick because I browsed porn yeah. on there all the fucking time. <laughs> yeah. Oh my God, all the goddamn time. So I, it's the same story, just different porns, I guess. Oh shit! I just remembered something. Can I? Can I go back? Yeah, yeah, yeah. When I was like maybe eleven or twelve, uh, my my dad my dad had a computer, so I would I was uh, curious and always looking up porn as well. But one day I was like, I, I didn't know about laws, obviously, and shit like that. So I was like, I wonder what people my own age look like naked. <laughs> So I, I googled naked 12 year old girls <laughs> on my dad's computer and like <laughs> this was this was a time before uh, I knew about like private you know private searching or whatever so this was just in the normal window and then after I had I, I don't I don't think I found anything thank God wow. but uh, after after that had finished and maybe a day or so goes by and my dad's on the computer and he's he's searching things and up the top you know in the uh the search bar at the top when you type this predictive whatever it shows your history and he just sees this massive list of like naked 12 year old <laughs> girls naked 12 year old girls getting fucked or whatever shit like that and he just freaks the fuck out uh, obviously uh that's not almost uh, getting caught. He did. He did catch that. So Damn! I got into trouble. What a shame! You just wanted to see some naked twelve-year-olds, man. I, he was so paranoid for weeks. <laughs> I, I, I'd be. I, I, I don't know what. Uh, did the cops believe you at that point? If you just blame your twelve-year-old son, I don't know, man. If you blame your twelve-year-old son, I doubt it. Otherwise, <laughs> everyone would use that excuse. Yeah, everyone. Scary. Every pedophile makes sure to have kids, so they have that excuse. <laughs> All right. Uh, you guys. Is it me? It was Charlie. Yeah, uh, it's Charlie. Oh no, it's Charlie. I don't really have anything. I can't think of a single time where I mean, it was like a close call. When you're a man who explicitly asks his parents' yeah. permission to jack off, it's kind of hard to get caught. Yeah, it's just they already know. Yeah. Yeah, I got Kyle. nothing either. Just regular, almost got caught jacking off. Kind of stuff. Okay. All right. This one's from Elgalas, who says, The official archaeologist here for an update. I am digging lots of Roman stuff, mostly pottery at the moment. I found a baby skull, though, which was oh. really cool. See you next month. Sweet. Thank that you, sound, That does sound really cool. Did you get to keep the baby skull? I, I can't imagine he did. I hope. I think he did. I would like to see a photo of it, though. That'd be really cool. <laughs> what, why would he be able to keep it? That's an archaeological find. Yeah, but it's a baby skull. Yeah. It's badass. It's like a souvenir. Yeah. Yeah, uh, finders keepers. Put it on your right. steering wheel like Mad Max. Uh, this is from Apatheus, and he says, Andrew, don't listen to naysayers. They are the vocal minority, and your fans are the quiet majority. Keep up the great content. P.S. I did end up getting that job, so you will still see me in the shoutouts. Hey. This is in quotes, hey. so I don't know if he means it. <laughs> hey. Thank you, Apatheus. I'm, I'm very happy that you got that job. <laughs> he overheard somebody yeah. say this. Yeah, <laughs> he's, he's transcribing it. Thank you, Apathius. That's yeah, thank wonderful you, on both fronts. Uh, this is from Lahik or Lahik, one of the two. Uh, just wanted to share what happened to me tonight. Went out and bought chocolate milk and cookies. Go to pour the glass milk in a glass, and it's literally the consistency of pudding. Ugh. Anyways, keep up the good work, boys. Uh, Lahik, I think you fucked up because uh, you just threw away perfectly good pudding. Yeah, rest in peace, good pudding. Good Pudding sounds like a band name. <laughs> I'm sure it is. Yeah, an indie somewhere. rock band called Good Pudding. I'd check them out. Thank you. Again, thank you, La Hit. I have no idea. Um, <laughs> this is from Parker. This is from Parker. 
Imagine you were offered a job that paid three grand a week and only required five shifts a week that only lasted one hour. However, the job required you to be tortured beyond belief during those hours. Your employers would completely fix you up and wipe your memory of the hour. No explanation is given behind the research. Would you take it? Lots of love. I would not even consider it. Fuck no. Yeah, no. No, no way. Can why, why would you? Not at all. Yeah. yeah. No thanks. That's not even enough Still to make podcast. Yeah. This one is that. George Billingsley. Well, this is my first shout out. Shout out to all the fucks that wanted a shout out spot. I've been holding <laughs> on to this slot since the beginning. I will go down in the official lore. Good job, George. <laughs> Thanks, George. You're on a roll. Our resident squatter. <laughs> I love it. Thank you, George. This is Derek Riggett. Spogdar and friends are journeying to the state of Florida this summer. I would like to get drinks with you Florida boys one of those days. By all means, Spogdar and the boys. Oh, sorry, man. We are out of Florida the entirety of the summer. <laughs> Ooh. Sorry. Yeah, I forgot. We're uh, we're going Alaska, right? <laughs> yeah, we're going. Yeah, don't don't, don't tell him. And if he, track well, if down. he turns out to be going to Alaska, we're actually going to Rome. So I mean, that went so Spogdar. Let us You're know, up, Yeah, let us know what's going on, Spogdar, for real. This is from Pat. Pat says, since I gotta keep it short. I want to thank Char- you didn't by the way. I want to thank Charlie for eight years of good laughs, Andrew for being so relatable in too many ways to quantify, Jackson for providing some of the best one liners in your one line per episode, and Kai for keeping it real and standing true with his beliefs. I really admire that. Also, thanks for the Dr. Love help from a while back. It really did help me sort out some issues and I'm glad you were willing to listen. Don't stop making this podcast, or I would be incredibly bored doing my work until the next lunar cycle. Gaming brethren, <laughs> trademarked, trademarked, trademarked. Oh, that was sweet. Thanks, Thanks Pat. Pat. Yeah, that's very sweet, Pat. Thanks, Pat. Thank you. Let's keep it going. Uh, yeah, this one comes from Luther Christian Aponte. Hey boys, my cousin is finally being moved out of ICU and into rehab after an accident he had back on Easter. No relevance, but I couldn't think of anything else. And knowing he'll be home soon makes my day and is all I've been thinking about lately. So I figured I'd share it. I plan on catching him up on all the podcast episodes and memes he's missed. See y'all next month. Wishing Thank you. Sounds like you got a thing for your cousin. Yeah. Good luck to you, Luther. And your I hope cousin. the romance works out. This is from Jesus. Hello, boys. It is me, Jesus, and I want to wish you guys a great rest of your day. And Kaya, I hope that Doctor Love, the Doctor Love series, will continue and will always be entertaining and will hopefully be more often. Anyway, sorry for my lengthy message. And Charlie, I'll stop by your next stream and say hi. Sounds good, man. You can check out my streams too. <laughs> <laughs> That's pathetic, Andrew. They are. Yeah. Pathetic. Tell you next. <laughs> this is from Brad Orfelli. Andrew, you fucking cum guzzler, you mispronounce my last name, <laughs> something everyone does. I don't I don't know how it's pronounced. Americanized <laughs> then How do you know I mispronounced it, you fucking moron? <laughs> Americanized pronunciation <laughs> is air fail, r fail. Sicilian pronunciation is I don't fucking know. If you haven't explained subnetting casually yet, do it now. Else explain the difference between AES and WPA2 encryption algorithms. Charlie, you're a beautiful man, though. Sweet. Whoring out my girlfriend's art for s- art some more because she's a princess. AtollsDeviantArt.com. That's Atolls, A T O L L Z. DeviantArt.com. What's A E S, Andrew? Sweet. I used to know the difference between encryption algorithms, but eh, I don't anymore. <laughs> uh, that one so does. I'm going to, I'll explain how to pronounce his uh, last name. It's Alfalfa. <laughs> I looked it up, and by that I mean I made it up. So you're welcome, Brad Alfalfa. Welcome to the Atlantic. Yeah. All right, this is this is from Joe Guacamole, <laughs> a.k.a. Joel, Joe Gia, Gia, Gia Colone, I guess. Calzones. Yeah, Calzone. Fuck, fuck, fuck. Mother, mother, fuck, fuck. Mother, mother, fuck, fuck. Mother, fuck, mother, fuck. Noise, noise, noise. One, two, one, two, three, four. Noise, noise, noise. Smoking weed, smoking weed. Doing coke, drinking beers, drinking beers, beers, beers. Rolling fatty, smoking blunts. Who smokes the blunts? Who smokes the blunts? Who smokes the blunts? Find out next month on Goddamn This Character Limit. I, too, oh, have beautiful. seen Clerks. Is that from Clerks? It is from Clerks. Oh, well, that was beautiful, nice. dude. Thank you. You nailed it. Thank you, Joe. Hmm. Thanks, Joe. 
This one comes from Andrew Dronabona, who says, I never know what to say to these things. Just stay awesome. That's all you need to say, Andrew. Thank you. Perfect. Thanks, Andrew. Thank you, Boner. This is from Hubris. Hey, boys, this is probably better answered by Charlie <laughs> and Andrew, but it's for anyone who's been to Florida. I'll be heading there soon and was wondering if there is any spots I should check out or things I should do while there. I'll be around the Fort Lauderdale area. Thanks for all the help and keep up the great work. I don't know right. Fort Lauderdale very well. Check out the Gator Farms. Do yourself a favor. That's not Fort Lauderdale. Do yourself a favor. Go to Wilton Manors. It's like 10 minutes from Fort Lauderdale. It's the gayest city in North America. It is a place called the New York Grilled Cheese Company. You're going to want to eat there. It's fucking delicious. From top to bottom, some of the best food I've ever eaten at a casual restaurant. That's what you want to do. All I can think of is going to Why Orlando. Why does it matter that it's the gayest place? Because when you get there, you'll know. I don't understand what that means. All right, let me help them out then. It's across the street from Gay Mart. What's Gay Mart? A gay supermarket. But there's a gay supermarket yes. where they ban straight people from shopping there? No, but they sell gay products. What is a gay, what a gay product? Por- Jesus Christ. Uh, like thongs for men, gay porn. What? Gay things. I'm dead fucking so, serious. Ass so what, it's just a gay sex store? No, it's not all sex. It's like novelty items and shit, CDs. They just sell gay things. It's Game Art. It's called Game Art. It's 100% called Game Art. Yes. Right next to Java right. Boys, which is a gay coffee shop. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not making any of this up. Gay- Java Boys has a pink bunny, which is a delicious like ripoff of a frappuccino from Starbucks. This sounds like gay paradise. Why do, why Cause it's the, the gayest, gayest city in North America. Yes. What? A- oh, I didn't know there was one. Yeah. It has it's the cool. highest gay population per capita. And I used to go there all That's the time cool. because there's a shitload of cool restaurants and it was like very close to where I work. But no, pl- seriously, go to New York Grilled Cheese Company. Go to Orlando as well. It. That's the only recommendation I have. They- but that's like four hours away. Yes. I don't know Fort Lauderdale. I do. That's why I'm telling him. Oh, all right, Jackson. Yeah. It's on you. Th- this one's from Daniel Halfstone. Another cheer from Norway. Also, I'm not one of those Norwegian official ripoffs like you guys said last shout out. Their podcast sucks. Hey, there's come a, on, man. There's is fine. We don't speak. Yeah, they, yeah they, we don't speak. They Nor- work hard on that. They could be amazing. We don't speak Norwegian. Thank you, Daniel. They work hard on that. This is from Zachary. Good day, boys. Hope it's been a good month for you. My holidays are about to end, and it's back to the grind Monday. Shout out to all the fans listening to this episode on their way to work to this morning. Make today a good one. Oh, let's, that was so positive. Yeah, let's positive. give a clap to everyone going to work this morning because daily commutes are uh, pretty pretty hard on some people. Yeah. So if you're listening on this the way to work, you. thank you for stimulating the economy. <laughs> Go Jazz. Um, yep, this one comes from Mo Hashem. Hey peeps, been convincing all my friends to listen to this podcast, but they are all ditching me. <laughs> fucking idiots. Anyway... If in the future you're here through Mo, about fucking time, you dipshit. Take care, guys. Love you all, and keep up the fantastic work. Keep spreading the good word, Thank Mo. Thank you, Mo. Thank you, Mo's yeah. friends, if you ever came over to listen. I want to see you on the corner, Mo. Yeah. Work in the corner. Handing out flyers. Big old signs, yeah. In a costume or something. Waving it around. This, Get out this there. This is from Zachary Sims. Do, do your part. Hey, guys. It's been a long time. I haven't had time to make a shout-out since I was on deployment. I downloaded quite a few of your podcast episodes, and they helped me get through a lot of stress. Thanks again, guys. Thank you, Zachary, and welcome home. Yeah, thank you. I'm glad that we could help. This is from Mariska. (laughs) Hello, boys. Unfortunately, my PayPal transfer isn't coming in on time, so I won't have enough time or enough money to pay for the shout-out tier next month. I don't know when I'll be able to jump back on it because the tiers are sold out, so don't take it to heart. My question is, what is the worst TV show you have ever watched Shout out to Sean and Lauren on their recent engagement. Milan, Milan isn't cool. Skeletor Prime, Ares, Uncle Bourbon, Matthew Sheba, Muenster or Munster, uh, Mariah and Omer. Uh, the most recent bad show that I've ever watched has been that seven. What, what is it? Seven Reasons. Thirteen oh, seven Reasons Why. Yeah, yeah, that one. It's pretty bad. Pretty I awful. I went into the show Homeland thinking it would be good and it was fucking was garbage right. from start to finish and i hated it not the worst show i've ever watched admittedly but it's the most recent of people love it and i think homeland fucking sucks greenhouse mm. for me greenhouse academy what? greenhouse academy 
thought you said house. I was What's about to about? slap the shit out of you. I don't know what it's about. Tiana yeah. was watching some of it, and it just has the worst dialogue and worst everything I've seen in a TV show. You can also lump any show on the CW there. Greenhouse is Netflix exclusive, I think. What about yours, Kaya? Oh, even worse. Um, My top one most awful TV show I ever sat through. One season of, I guess, would be American Gods, with mm. Dear White People Season 2 being the close second and the reason I cancelled Netflix finally. <laughs> Such a worthless <laughs> fucking platform. Uh, it's Kaya. This one's for you, Kaya. Hmm? Thank you, Mariska. Oh, uh, thank you. This is from Braden Guten. Gutin? Gutin? I don't know. Grand Admiral Gortan. Kaya, the prisoner, the POW operation you ordered went smoothly. We have captured one of the islanders and waterboarded the pedo right out of that fuck as requested. <laughs> he was revealed. He has revealed the identity of another high ranking officer among the islanders, <laughs> Maddox. We await further orders. Maddox, we, are, we are now. Go ahead. Yeah, I wonder if he's going to get his little drunk lawyer to sue us as well now. I was going to say, keep in mind, this is a shout-out. We are just reading it. We are not actually indicting Maddox as a pedophile. It could be. I don't know. I'd pick him I as mean, a anyone type. could be, but... This is from Duelt. Duelt says, Hey boys, hope you are all doing well. Just letting you guys know that we in Ireland have finally shook off the last influence on our laws by the Catholic Church, which is the Eighth Amendment... In parentheses, banning abortion in Ireland. Thankfully, we vo voted around 66% in favor of repealing, so now the church will have even harder times ahead with finding new kitties. <laughs> Yay. Good news. Good. Yay, democracy. Fuck you, church. Good job. I actually read that headline Tip not too my long fedora. ago. Okay, this is from Dizzy. Hey, boys, Dizzy here. Hope all is well. Here's a question for you. What do you all think of the don't meet your heroes ideology? Have any of you met your heroes? If so, what was it like? Do you want to hmm. go in jack order or just throw shit at the wall? I've never met okay. I've never met anyone that I've idolized since I was a kid or anything. I 100% think don't meet your heroes is one of the strongest ideologies I've ever heard. I think it's nothing Who'd but disappointment meet? from start to finish. I can't Who'd you meet? I can't think of any hero that I've met, but I just you just always see that when people meet people in real life, it's either like plastic fake, oh they're nice, you know they were a nice guy, whatever, or just an asshole. It's mm. it's like at the end of the day, if they have a big following, there is no conceivable way they could give a shit about the individuals. So I I, I am completely for that idea. I don't have heroes, but yeah, I don't meet them. It's a recipe for disaster. Having a hero basically just means having high expectations of somebody. Which, as you might realize, means disappointment regardless. I, I absolutely don't think you should meet your heroes. Or if you do, go in with realistic expectations that they're a person. They take shits and get mad too. <laughs> this is from Brandon, Perpetual Victim Todd. Not only did you lose half of my shoutout last month, Kaya, you also doxed me, Brandon Todd, as a homeless shitbag. Thanks, you fuck. Please support my very real struggle as a dox victim at patreon.com slash blue shave recruiter. You also Thanks, doxed Brandon. me, Brandon Todd, who lives at this address, <laughs> and this is his phone number. I'm sure you're a nice person, Brandon Todd, and not a perpetual victim. If anybody okay. finds you, send him flowers. This one is from probably my favorite Patreon, Patreon name yet, Kayak Ors on. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Alright, hello, I wrote a haiku for you guys Official <clears throat> podcast Charlie is the fucking worst Suck my three inch cock Thank you for your time Love you guys, please kick Charlie from the podcast That sounds just like kayak so sweet. Yeah, that, that was beautiful, I'm tearing up Yeah, thanks kayak Thank you kayak ors this, on This one comes from Cisco Kid Hi, official podcast I know you guys told us if we wanted someone on as a guest, we should ask them. I did exactly that, and they actually said yes. Now, I assume you just won't have just anyone on. What criteria do you consider when hosting a guest? Should I, I should they just reach out to you? Yes, they should. Since you guys like good scams, look up Bracco the Grazer. The Gazer. People pay and travel to see him on stage as he just stands there and stares at the crowd. That sounds cool. Will the following please read their own lines, please? Jackson, I think you're a cool dude and appreciate what you do for the official podcast and support it. <laughs> oh, uh, Andrew, I think your passion 
I think your pa- I, I <laughs> fucking god, Andrew. I love your passion, and remind me a bit of myself in that sense. My Hero Academia looks to be getting a video game, which looks good. Squirting bukkake porn. Calls of mass <laughs> confusion YouTube channel pussies. Small, underrated, and deserving of recognition. Thanks for all you guys do, Charlie. I'm a few months older than you when I found your co-op video, and the rest is history. Growing up with you and my best friend and hearing your crazy stories and the rest of the official podcast has been... has been life improving peace out cisco kid p.s today is my 24th birthday happy birthday cisco kid for, shame, for then. shame that we got these shout outs a few days after we asked them so it's far too late now to wish him a happy birthday well happy birthday officially it's not his birthday and thank you for your kind message thank you for your birthday happy birthday thank you <laughs> this is from steve mckenzie uh, charlie i love your dog so much holy fuck it's so cute yeah tetris cute i agree this is from sal verdasco hey oh, the best and that's one. a good way to end it <laughs> all right thank you so much for donating on patreon for that them shout outs them lovely little nice little mammogram messages we appreciate all of your support on patreon mammogram messages yeah because they're full of t- they're the tits so thank you so much for your support and your love and we thank you and we couldn't do it without you i mean we could but it makes our lives easier <laughs> <laughs> we love doing this podcast but we also love the support that you guys give us and thank you very much for it tune in next week for another episode featuring a real life talking dog you'll have to find out that's clickbait right there you know you're interested now you're invested it all right patreon.com slash the official podcast uh kyle what's the website give them that too official.men that's the one uh links in bio make merch sure bio, merch and bio watch the tv news watch cnn we might be on there one day soon you never know all right well see you later goodbye thanks Bye. for watching this shit show see Bye. ya Bye.